Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Akshat and in today's video we'll be talking about books for JE. I'll be talking about the books that I personally used during my JE preparation. Before we get started, you might notice that the borders of this video are gone. Uh, to be honest, they were a lot of work to edit in and put them around and so I just chucked them out uh, and you won't be seeing them anymore. Um, with that, let's get started. I want to start by saying that these books are by no means the best books in the market, nor are they guaranteed to get you good ranks in JAE. A book is only as good as the person studying it, uh, and so the name of the book doesn't matter. But what really matters is how you use it. I've also added Amazon links down in the description to all of these books that I will be mentioning here, so you can go check them out there as well. Let's start with mathematics. For mathematics, I used the Sengate series uh, that has uh, in total five books and it is a basically an all-in-one book series. It contains concepts, it contains theory, it contains lots and lots of questions. And so you better be careful here because if you try doing all the questions that are here in this book, you'll just be stuck at one chapter and you won't be able to progress to the next one. So it's important here with this book to pick and choose your questions. Some questions can also be repetitive, which use the same formula or concept, but just change the values. So make sure that you skip it. Also, in the theory here, uh, some of the points uh, are out of syllabus for JE. Uh, so make sure you know about them and skip these entirely. The alternative that I've heard to the Sengit series is uh, primarily uh, a, uh, the Arihant book series, which also has, I think, five books in that mathematics series. And from what I've heard, it's a pretty similar book, but it contains a slightly less amount of questions. Uh, so you can go for that as well. Uh, this book covers everything up Till, uh, from the beginner level till JE advance uh, so you won't need any other book for mathematics this is literally the all-in-one book for mathematics for physics I would like to recommend two different series of books firstly being the concepts of physics by H.C. Varma and secondly being understanding physics by D.C. Pandey uh, let's talk about concepts of physics first uh, this book is recommended by absolutely everybody as soon as you enter the world of JE and with good reason. Uh, this book has problems which have a very gentle learning curve and the difficulty of the questions increases very gradually as the chapter progresses which makes this book very easy to cope with. Uh, the theory points given in this book are also uh, very well written and uh, it's very easy to understand all the theory that is given here. I would say this book is much easier uh, to understand than the physics NCRT of 11th and 12th is. After completing concepts of physics, for a more JE advanced tailored experience, you can move on to the series, book series by DC Pandey. I personally bought this just for advanced and this has helped me a lot. It has pattern problems where all the solved examples are grouped by the different concepts used and the questions um, in this book are patterned by the JE Advanced pattern which means it has single correct, multi correct, matrix match type and all of that stuff and a lot of the questions are very tricky and test the most basic of concepts which is a very JE Advanced thing to do. So I think this book is very close to what the actual JE Advanced experiences. <laughs> I can't talk about chemistry without talking about NCRT. Uh, I think I have talked a lot about the importance of NCRT in chemistry. Like 90% uh, of your questions in JE means and advance come directly from this book. And there are even conceptual points in physical and uh, organic chemistry that are sometimes asked directly. So you can imagine how important this book series is and you really can't miss it. Uh, coming to some more specifics uh, for uh, different topic wise, uh, for uh, inorganic of course NCRT is there, but if you want some extra reference reading, 
emphasis on reference you can refer to jd lee's concise um concise in organic chemistry uh, but only for reference reading because it has a lot of concepts which are probably um out of syllabus but it does contain some quick extra points that are not listed in ncert but may be helpful so only consider this for reference reading and don't make this your primary book your primary book should always always be ncert uh coming to question solving uh this book uh, from sengage about inorganic chemistry was i think one of the best purchases i've made till now uh partly mostly mostly because it contains uh, problems from ncert exemplar it contains all the previous year j main problems all the previous year j advanced problems in addition to containing exercises which have hundreds on hundreds of questions on their own so it's an all in one package for in uh, in organic chemistry you'll find questions of every type from every book here so this is a one stop shop for in organic chemistry if you're looking to buy uh, uh, a book for question answers in in organic chemistry you should definitely go for this because you won't need to buy five different books if you have this coming to physical chemistry i personally have tried n avasthi but i think there are books like rc mukherjee out there also which are pretty similar in my experience uh, n avasthi is a great book uh, apart from the fact that there are over 100 questions for each chapter and that is partly because a lot of the questions are very very repetitive they use the same concept over and over uh, by just changing the values So when you're attempting this book make sure that you know when to skip questions otherwise you'll just be spending way too long on a chapter that frankly does not require too much so make sure you pick and choose your questions otherwise this is a great book and it contains um, contains some very good conceptual problems which you might find interesting coming to my favorite subject organic chemistry for questions i used advanced problems in organic chemistry by ms johan and to be frank this book has a lot of out of syllabus components to it a lot of out of syllabus question and some questions are just fact based where you have to remember ph of some um organic compounds or things like that which makes it a little infuriating at times but when you cut all that out this book is really really thought provoking and i would not recommend this for you if you don't know your reaction mechanisms well as it it has a lot of uh, it relies heavily on reaction mechanisms and the questions are very beautifully made and it's a joy to solve uh, i think i'm biased because i really like uh, organic chemistry but this is a very nice book to solve if you think that organic chemistry is not your cup of tea and you might want easier problems you can go for elementary problems in organic chemistry by ms johan as well or you can look at himanshu uh, himanshu pandey i think and a lot of other books that are pretty similar a lot of books uh, in this day and age have overlapping content so you don't need to worry about that coming to extra reading uh, i use solomon's friars for Uh, yeah solomon's in file for uh, this is the adapted version by ms john uh, i use this for reference reading strictly for reference reading because as you can see this is a huge book and most of the content in here is pretty out of syllabus and goes into the depths of organic chemistry which you don't really need so this is a nice book when you need to refer to a particular mechanism or read on read up on some conceptual points that might not be given in your notes or in the ncert you can refer uh, this book for that as it will probably contain it but don't go any further than that otherwise you'll just get lost into things that don't even matter i would like to end this video by sharing one last thing the most important series of books that you can have regardless of subject that is the solved previous year questions 
everyone knows how important previous year questions are not only to test yourself but to also realize the kinds of question that appear in the actual exam so no matter what the publication just go on amazon and search up any chapter wise topic wise solved papers and just buy them uh, like it's that simple because uh, the publication doesn't really matter uh, when it comes to uh, solved papers but uh, something like disha or aryan which are reputed um publishers uh, those books will be great and so make sure that you have those for every subject and that is the end of this video if you made it this far thank you so much for sticking around thank you so much for watching my videos and if you want me to make a video on any topic that you might like i'll uh, leave it down in the comments and i'll look into it and see what i can do uh until next time i'll see you guys later Shh.